The debate has been loud and divisive. We need a public option. Just say no! I have a question for you. In the end, of course, that controversial health care bill passed. Still, there's no shortage of dilemmas like this one at a small pharmacy in New Jersey. That'll be $140. $140? Yeah. But, but that's not possible. I'm, I'm sure there's a mistake. But there is no mistake. A drug she needs to survive is no longer covered by her insurance. You have to pay the full price. But I have $20. You don't understand. I'm, I'm, I'm at the end of my Social Security for this month. This customer is clearly upset. $440. It's my diabetes medication. I, know, dear. I, I just don't know what I'm going to do. But the woman doesn't really need help. She's an actor working with us, and so is the pharmacist. And our What Would You Do cameras are rolling to see if fellow customers will come to the aid of a person in need. Happened several times today. Rob Fazzini, the owner of White's Pharmacy, is working with us too. They're either not covered and the patient needs it, or their co-pays have become so high can't even afford the med anymore. According to a recent study, one in three Americans are not filling prescriptions because they can't afford them. How about if I give you half the prescription? It would just be $50 more. She can't afford to be paying that. She lives on Social Security. That's a good chunk of her check. I couldn't afford to do that. Which makes what this woman is about to do even more remarkable. <laughs> Don't be upset. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. That's five dollars this stranger just gave to our actress. I've never taken money from anybody oh, in my whole life. It's, I, it's a necessity. It's a necessity that Pat Moyes understands all too well. Living on Social Security, suffering from diabetes herself. But will other customers be as generous? It's $140 today, dear. Oh, oh, that, that must be a mistake. Um, my copay is, is $20. It seems this woman can't help but hear everything. It's $140. That's not possible. And that customer, she appears to be listening to. Look, look, how about if I give you half of it, and then it's just, it, it'll be $70, not $140. And then you can take half now. I just now don't you... have it. Just seconds later, this woman walks away. But that other customer is about to make a move. I don't know what to do. Are they tied I mean, up? Or how much money yeah. is? What? The entire script is one forty. Fifty dollars on my card, okay? Please, this I'm, is so embarrassing. I, 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 I'm don't be embarrassed. Hey, okay. All right. You, you know what? Medication is so f expensive. There's no reason to be embarrassed. Sometimes we just pass on the good that's been given to us. Okay. Now watch what happens as our actress tries to pay the remaining balance. Got it. Is that all the money you have? Well, well just... You don't have any cash? That, wait, that's, wait, wait, that's, wait. that's, that's wait, the, the... Give her back her cash and no. it all my card. Just give it back. The whole 70? You just put the whole 70 on my card. Now I'm you have money. Karen, my name is John Quinones. We're with ABC. You stepped up to the plate and it was pretty amazing. Why? Who wouldn't? I mean, who, who couldn't? Holy crap. <laughs> You're such a doll. God, who could let this little woman walk out of here without at least a <laughs> pill? Oh. So, Scott, can you come? We've been taping our experiment for only two hours. And in every scene so far, someone has stepped up to help our actress. But is it just a fluke? I just have the $20. OK. Well, you I, I, that's all I have. As a woman next to our actress leaves, we begin to think our luck may have run out. You gotta take this every day, hon. You need to pay me for at least a week's supply. But seconds later... Yeah. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. I'll give you money. I'll help you out if you need it. Sir? What? Yeah. Let me help her out. I can help her out. Give her money for 70 dollars. You wanna do that? Yeah, I can do that for her. Sure. Sure? I'll be right back. Then, just like that, he leaves. And we're not sure where he's going until our cameras catch him outside, running back from the ATM machine. He'd gone to get some cash. Okay. I'm so embarrassed. This Don't never be. happens to me. I, I, I really... Formula, formula is happening all the time. It turns out Wally Westervelt works for a pharmaceutical company. You're picking up the half a prescription? Yeah. yeah. Again, we can't help but ask why. You didn't have to do that. Uh, she needs a medication. It broke my heart. 
She's a stranger. That can easily be one of my family members that needs help, so. He related to her in some level. He did. They were Colgate University psychology professor Carrie Keating. She definitely looked like a person who was out of options, powerless, and her plight was not her own fault. And that is almost to us the ideal victim who we are likely to help. Tracy Day? But what happens when the victim is a younger woman? It'd be $150. Wait, 150 Yes, $150. Yeah, but I'm supposed to have a copay. I always pay 20. Is there anything else I can take, like a generic? Uh, no, this is a very specific antibiotic. These customers appear to notice right away. Okay, well, what if I didn't take it? Your infection's gonna get worse, dear. How about if we cut it in half? You wanna cut it in half? It's gonna be 75. I don't have 75, I don't have it. But neither say a word, even when our actress sits right next to them, visibly upset. Both men look away. Ms. Day? Finally, we cue our actress to leave. I guess I'll just have to come back and do without it, I guess. I think you gotta deal with your own life before you can help somebody else. So you didn't feel that bad for him? No, nah, I've seen worse. I know when somebody's hurting. I know when somebody's hurting. She was seen very differently than the first actress who was older. The older woman looked more like a victim. Absolutely. This actress was seen as having options and somebody who could take responsibility for her own plight. So we didn't have a major motivating factor there for empathy and helping behavior. Be 150 today. So will anyone help our younger customer? There's nothing that you can do or help I me out. I can't give it to you. I just Every... lost my job and everything. I don't know. Almost immediately, that woman over there appears disturbed by what she hears. Can you see if you can... You get me $75, I'll give you half the meds today. I don't have $75, I just don't have Well, that. is there any way that you can get... If I give her 25 can you give her half? Yeah, okay. You don't have to do that. I know. That's, why would you do that? Because I know how you feel, and I, it's terrible. But so she's you not know, done yet. How far would that get her? It'll get her about a four-day supply. And how many does she have to she take? She really needs to take for 12 days. Here, give her 50 and um, put that on there with mine, okay? How much? 50 Fifty dollars. That's twice what she initially offered to pay. Gives you fifteen dollars. Thank you so much. It's okay. Someday you'll be able to do that for someone else, but I can't let you just. I, I, no, I'll take it over here. Ma'am, excuse me. I'm John Quinones with the TV show. What would you do? This woman, a special education teacher, was the only person to help our younger actress. I'm just doing the right thing. So many people don't take their medicine because they can't afford it. And I don't like that. I don't think it's right. And neither did these people. Over the course of our two days of taping, six strangers opened their hearts and their wallets, reaching out a hand to help a woman in need. <laughs>